Hi Pisces and welcome to your April 2022 reading. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. Oh my gosh, who's screaming? There's a lot of there's a lot of quarreling in your space. Okay, so let's get started. The month is going to be all about the belief, whether you believe. Happy Easter. There's a lot of quarreling and fighting in your world right now. And if it's, if it's not external, it's internal. Okay. Let's focus, let's breathe, and let's not be distracted by the external chaos in life. Should you not have a belief system that is about Easter and the ideology of the resurrection and ascension, just know that it is still a, a resurrection, ascension, and or the suffering of through one's truth. This is your truth. It came out as I was shuffling. So Ace of Swords, speak your truth because this truth that you speak, write, or communicate about, how you show up has to come out of your, it has to be communicated somehow so that you can find a sense of peace. And that is why there's so much chaos in the background. Okay, Pisces, let's keep going. Pisces, there it is. I can't sleep. My higher self is trying to tell me, just get some rest so I can show you the way. You're, you're worried. You don't know which way to go. You're in that, you're in that, you're in this feeling of what to do, where to go. I need help. I need I need direction. I need clarity, a clear vision, sense of vision, and I'm not getting it. And sometimes what we have to do is we, well, most of the time, we have to realize that we're not in charge of that, making that decision, that in actuality, it's spirit that makes the decisions for us. So we kind of have to realize, let go and let God hear. Okay, Pisces? Oh my gosh, your fear, your fear of what's to come is driving, is driving you crazy. Your fear, the direction of your life, you don't feel like you're moving in the right direction, Pisces. Where is your truth? Where does it lie? You must ask yourself why you feel so much of this. This is a this is a place where you're bound by the earthly uh, the earth plane, right? The three D. You're bound by the desires of sex, drugs, rock and roll, money, and and it's really weighing heavy on you because in between these two cards you have here you have here uh death and destruction not literal death but destruction of the desires of the 3d world and the freedom of the 5d and in between is where where am i who am i what 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 do i represent here why is this all chaos it's chaos because what you feel and what you know to be true is not jiving with what's going on in your in your encompassing area of circle of family friends your your actual living situation is also in this in this modality of of destruction meaning you know it's time to clean out the closets it's time to clean out your life. Time to get out of this 3D world of, of um, materialistic values and desires. Again, 
sex, drugs, rock and roll, alcohol, any kind of addictions. We need to get out of them to set ourselves free. And you know it. Okay? You know what will set you free. I, I'm just putting the cards up so you can see them, so we can talk about it, because it's too hard to to deal with um, changing the camera around every second. So let's figure that out by saying this will be figured out. You do realize that you're going through a time where the, the sacrifice for you, Pisces, is to look in the mirror. What reflection do you see? You see a beautiful, very... Um, abundant financial independence, but you're healing from, from a sense of not knowing who you are, where you're going. And it's easy. It's easier. I should say it's not easy. It's easier for a Pisces to uncover their dark side because you're the 12th house. You're the house of karmic cycles and karmic debt. So you're dealing with karmic debt here only to be, hold on, only to be set free of your karmic debt in order to be resurrected and healed to be to be seen and heard as, as a beautiful soul that you are. Got it? So this is where you're, where you've been and the truth sets you free to where you're going. Got it? But understand that once when when we get to the nine of pentacles we want to ensure that we've healed most of the what we've or needed to be healed because we don't want and it happens right we don't we want to cut the ties to the 3d materialistic world in order to ascend to the 4d world right if you're understanding me it's let me explain it in layman terms is cutting the desires of the flesh and the body of, of the body, right? You know, the materialistic values, the being seen, being always wanting people to, to know you on a surface level, right? This is surface. This is superficial. This is the real deal. When you cut, when you're cutting that, you're cutting it out in order to ascend, heal, and begin again but not saying that it's not like we don't get back into that oh gosh i want to buy that that you know that gucci purse but i know better i it's not like i don't have the money but i need to heal from someone trying to pull me back in which is the devil right the devil's in the details so you're having this convo with yourself here, this convo of your what your reality looks like, right? And it's not to say that you need the reality to look any way on the external, but it is the external, right? How you dress, what you drink, what you eat, how you, how you go about, but you're worried about it because you're always falling back two steps forward to take one step back into like not cutting the tie completely of that, you know, that ego, right? I mean, it's not, un you don't need to cut the tie because once you realize that it's not the ego that drives, it is actually your spirit that drives, that cuts it for you, realizing your heart is what truly matters. Your heart matters. Okay? So, hence you have the beautiful depiction of the red tail hawk that once becomes your spirit animal totem, becomes that for life, which you will ultimately find in times of the dream state. When you are in dream state, Pisces, you will have the ability to learn more about what drives you and what guides you and to follow the spirit, the walk in spirit, to look abundant, to know that your abundance comes from 
the spirit realm. The infinite sky that you see is actually the sky of opportunity and behold. But it, but it does not, mind you, it does not rule your world. And that's the ties that you're going to cut. Got it? So it's a matter of, you know, who do you show up? Who do you show up in the world as, Pisces? Do you show up as, oh, look at me. I've got the cars, the, you know, person, the, the what is it? Um, the trophy wife, right? I've got it all here in the palm of my hand, but but it's not really me. And do you see me is what your true self is saying or wanting to come out to say on the bottom of the deck, soulmates. Your childhood, actually. This is not about a soulmate as much as it is, or it could be a soulmate trying to guide you on the other side. But I feel more importantly, this is about getting back to the root of what makes you happy. It's about... Pisces, where did, where did you drop off your childhood? <laughs> you know what I mean? When did it happen? When did you seek? When did you seek? When did you start seeking the, the realm of desire, fame, and fortune? And who's going to bring you back down to reality not saying you can't have it all, but having it all from a standpoint of the the spiritual realm of truth instead of the egoic realm of desire of the body and materialistic stuff, right? This is base chakra, sacral chakra, solar plexus. This is this is heart and ascension. And your children might be very instrumental in helping you to gain perspective because this is what spirit is, is guiding you toward, a new perspective of who you are showing up as and to in the world. You want to be, you want to show up as having great depth, understanding, compassion, love, which you are all emphatic of, and you're an empath. However, you sometimes have the ability, which you're trying to cut ties to the ability of needing to show that you have it all. The facade, if you will. Okay? So, we get out of the facade and we get back into the childhood self of your real truth, you know, which came out as the Ace of Swords. Like, that was your first card that literally just flipped out, right? This is going to set you free, Pisces, right? Okay, let me get more to the narrative of and for you, Pisces, okay? Here it is, the Queen of Swords. See that? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone who's feeling not in control of one's life, and that's you. This could be an external person, but I feel because you're speaking, you're now getting very clear about who you are becoming. It's not yet the right time. You need to get more insight. Maybe someone's showing up as not the person you thought they were, but you are getting very clear and you need to become very clear, not stringent, not manipul manipulative and just really become very real with who you show up as Pisces. Okay. Even if it's masculine or feminine, it makes no difference. This is masculine more so, but it could be a masculine Gemini Libra Aquarius who shows up as one thing and maybe is in reality shows their self as another in another way in another light but this is about you this is about your truth so I feel that you came from a place 
where you were not and have not been in control of your life for a while now. And now it's time to change that up by getting out of the devil made me do it. The devil's in the details. Oh, I could convince, I could convince myself, oh my God, time and time again, justifying the means of why did I buy it? Why am I in this relationship? Why did I, where am I going? Why did I leave that home and not want to be in this home? Um, why am I here? What am I doing? It's somewhat and very much a, an identity crisis when you have the Queen of Swords reversed. Because when she's upright, she knows exactly where she's going and what she wants. But you have been out of sorts and you're getting back now to what really matters in your life, right? To a more stabilized, right? You're becoming more stable with why you do things, how you think, who you, who you try to become is who you are becoming. Does that make sense? It just comes out like that. Four of Pentacles. You've been holding, you've been holding back. It's probably not a good time to make any decisions. Just really get a sense of your own truth so that truth will set you free, Pisces. So that you can really come out of this exactly the way that you are inside. Has to show up on the outside. There it is, Ten of Cups. And then full-blown growth, trust, truth, peace, freedom, happiness, self. Then you are com committed totally to your own truth, to your own light. And no one, especially not your ego in the devil, is in the details, will change your I'm hearing the devil wears Prada. Maybe that's a good sense of um, this is what this is what your month is going to be about. The devil wears Prada. Watch it. Ace of Swords once again. So we come from a place of truth back to a place, a sense of knowing. Truth, freedom, and knowing. It comes full circle is what I'm being told. It comes full circle. You will come back, Pisces, to your center. You will meet yourself once again. And on the bottom of this deck, oh my God, is that not beautiful? You will have a sense of who you are once again. Give yourself a chance to go through this because this is the most important time of your life. And feeling that, feeling and going back to the place where you were happy where you cut yourself off at childhood you're coming back to a place now of identity not identity crisis you've been in an identity crisis and in the month of april once you now have ascended into your own power and freedom to get back a sense of happiness joy contentment and love you are now becoming yourself once again that is just beautiful so Pisces, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for you. I really am. I send you so much light and so much love and many blessings and your truth indeed, indeed, shall set you free. I'm here for you. If you need me for any reasons, just text me. Have a great month.